Hey folks, Pat here from DNS. This Madison area fishing report is current as of May 19th. Before we get started, just a couple quick things. Uh, we've got the Casting for Kids event this weekend. It's going on Saturday the 20th here, 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. That's a great fundraiser for the American Family Children's Hospital and UW Carbone Cancer Center where uh, local anglers and guides uh, take uh, participants out uh, around the lakes. And it's a catch photo and release fishing tournament, just kind of a fun deal. Um, they have a happy hour and dinner afterwards and an auction money raised they raise a bunch of money for a great cause and i just want to take a minute to thank everybody who participates in that and if you don't have a chance to participate you can go on their website castingforkids.org and donate here so anyway uh, thanks to everybody that does that and uh, good luck this weekend also uh, speaking of great events the yahara fishing club has their kids fishing day coming up uh, here june 3rd right in our backyard here at the shop at the Warner Park uh, Rainbow Shelter at the Warner Park Lagoon. This is also just a great event. Uh, they put together a couple hundred rod combos and kids come out and uh, if you're 14 and under and participate, you get a free rod and bait and instruction from a, uh, some of the members of the Heart Fishing Club. They even have hot dogs and soda for, for a little lunch there. So a uh, great event uh, put on by a great group. So uh, check that, that out if you're interested. Um, Otherwise, uh, I guess as far as the report goes, we had a little bit of a midweek cool down, but otherwise it's been just a gorgeous week. A little rain overnight here, but uh, the weekend looks fantastic and some great fishing weather in the forecast for the week ahead. Uh, 57 degrees on the buoy out here on Mendota this morning is actually down a few degrees from this time last week. I heard 64 down on Kiganza uh, on Wednesday, I think, and one report of 62 on Monona yesterday. So I imagine water temps should remain in that 60 to 64 degree range through the weekend. Uh, of course, you'll find warmer water in shallow bays and protected areas. For the most part, no matter what species you're after, you're going to still want to be looking shallow this time of year. So 15 feet of water or less, sometimes much less, depending on where you are on the chain. It sounds like the crappies are pretty much done spawning. Bass are either on their beds or starting to make beds, and bluegills are staging just outside those spawning areas waiting uh, to do their thing. I've been getting reports of panfish in many of the shallow inlets around town. Bass action remains good with many fish being on beds. Uh, catfish on the north side has been great the last couple weeks. Uh, walleye action continues to be also great in, uh, with many of those fish being found a little bit deeper now in 10 to 15 feet of water. Uh, I drove out over the Wisconsin River on Wednesday and she looked perfect. It looks like the Rock River is also down at seasonal levels. Um, I guess a little more detail here up on Cherokee. Uh, you know, I haven't heard a lot out of Cherokee Park area. The water up there has been a little dirty. Weeds are starting to become an issue. Um, the gills should be moving into spawn, uh, though, and I've been hearing about uh, occasional flurries, the great bass action up there still, and, of course, lots of small pike around. Down to the 113 uh, Naughty Gal area down here, we've had um, some great catfish action down there, some nice, nice fish coming out of that area. Uh, still hearing about a few crappies here and there and some white bass. Of course, uh, a lot of small pike and, and uh, other, you know, smallmouth and largemouth bass, just random fish that come out of there. But uh, catfish is really the kind of the name of the game down there right now. Also, out here in the North Bay, if you're in a boat, uh, a lot of great catfish action to be had out here in the North Bay. Like I mentioned a little earlier, the uh, a lot of your small inlets around, around Mendota are holding panfish now. Uh, Mendota County Park, Pheasant Branch, um, Marshall Park, Spring Harbor. Uh, I haven't heard anything specifically out of University Bay, but um, I'd imagine there's fish starting to move in there too. Anywhere shallow uh, is going to be starting to hold uh, some great panfish. Sure, should be holding great panfish right now. Um, down here to the Tenny Locks, I've been hearing uh, good action down there at the um, break wall. Oh, and I forgot to mention walleyes. Uh, they've been finding walleyes shallow, like I mentioned, uh, 10 to 15 feet of water, so a little bit shallower than before. I have heard a couple reports of some fish starting to hold out on um, mid lake humps, but uh, those fish are still pretty scattered. Uh, I'd, I'd focus a lot of my attention on shallow um, shallow areas near shore yet this time of year. Um, down, uh, ten, like I said, Tenney Park's been good out here at the break wall. Uh, a lot of fish in the Yahara River between the Tenney Park Lock and Dam and down to Yahara Place Park. I've heard about great action on all species of bass, walleye, some big bluegills, occasional crappies. Um, there are, uh, I've had a few reports of a giant muskie swimming around down here. Sorry about that. I had someone in the shop here, but, uh, anyway, uh, yeah, a couple reports of a 50 inch muskie cruising around down here. 
Uh, it's pretty cool to see something like that. And uh, there's also the sturgeon down there. I reported last week the DNR was down there shocking, and there's some giant sturgeon swimming around. So anyway, lots of fish in the Yohara River right now. Um, out on Lake Monona, kind of the same deal as Mendota. Uh, panfish in shallow inlets and protected areas down to Weechawak Bay, formerly Squaw Bay, the, the, the channels down here um, are uh, holding panfish still from what I hear. I haven't heard anything out of Squaw Bay or um, um, Turville Bay itself. Uh, the Monona Bay over here has been uh, still producing some crappies. The bluegills are also in there. Uh, they'll be getting ready to spawn here. Lots of good bass action in there too. So, uh, you know, it's uh, always a great spot to check out. I haven't heard a lot out of Lake Wingera. Uh, a lot of small panfish, of course, uh, some decent bass action. Haven't heard much in the way of muskies over there. Um, haven't heard much in the way of muskies at all that much. Uh, I remember Noah Humfeld saying at his presentation this <coughs> at uh, spring, he doesn't even bother fishing for muskies until June, until they really start to get going. But, um, oh, uh, also hearing about good action off the wall over here to the Monona Terrace. Uh, some crappies and bluegills being caught in there. Uh, most of the crappie action seems to be at low light hours, so early morning, and uh, when, when the sun goes down and after the sun's down. Uh, out here to um, Lots Park, uh, there's still some panfish holding in this area and up to Upper Mud. Although that action seems like it's slowed a little bit. Uh, still some good bass action in there, though. And uh, bass are on beds over there and all over Lake Wabisa um, on the north end and the south end of the lake. I've heard um, about some good bass action. Um, panfish, same thing. Uh, some uh, bluegills stacking up down here in the South Bay, getting ready to spawn. That's a popular area down there. Um, over here to Babcock, I have, um, haven't heard much in the way of fishing in that area, but I, I have heard that it's been very shallow water over there, hard to launch a boat. I guess the county is in there right now um, trying to dredge some of that out. So, um, and they're taking up some of the launch spaces. So I guess just be patient uh, if you're launching over to, over to Babcock there. Down to Kiganza. I haven't heard a ton out of Kiganza other than still some crappies and bluegills being picked off up here at fish camp. Uh, also uh, some bass, a lot of bass actually on beds around the lake. Uh, and I've heard about some walleye being picked up uh, trolling outside the state park over here. I guess that's pretty much it locally, uh, down to Lake Kashkanang and the Rock River. I haven't heard a ton out of the lake itself other than uh, some fish being caught trolling up here at the um, Black Hawk Island area where the Rock River comes in. I uh, heard about some white bass action up in the Fort Atkinson area and some good white bass action up near the uh, Jefferson Dam. Otherwise, um, over to Beaver Dam, I've heard they're still getting good catfish up there and the crappie action uh, sounds like it's... Um, Still picking up. I, I've heard about some good catches. Some folks from shore doing well up there. Uh, and the walleye sounds like the walleye action is pretty good, but um, a lot of short fish in there. Um, over on the Wisconsin River, uh, Prairie du Sac Dam, all the dams actually up and down the river have been uh, producing a nice mixed bag of fish. The walleye and sauger have kind of backed off and are settling back into their uh, downstream, uh, deeper winter or er, summer uh, holes. But uh, still some fish being caught up there for sure. Lake Wisconsin, uh, also been hearing about some fish near where the river comes in up on this end of the lake. Uh, but a lot of short fish up there as well. Um, and I've been hearing about some decent panfish action down here in Wayland's Grade and, and the Fingers near Harmony Grove. I uh, haven't heard much out of the Portage area. Uh, so heard about some crappies and white bass up near uh, Wisconsin Dells Dam. Uh, and also upstream here at, at both the other dams at Pete Well and Castle Rock. I've been hearing about some good action up there. Uh, nothing specifically out of Castle Rock Lake itself, but I, I did talk to one guy who uh, did well on Pete Well a couple of days ago. It sounds like the uh, levels have uh, stabilized over here on the Mississippi River. Folks are getting fish, uh, bluegills, and some flooded timber out there. Action's been good, I've heard, and um, some uh, good walleye. On, uh, at current seams. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I think the water's still high over there. It's just uh, stabilized a bit and, and fishing has improved. Uh, I've over to Milwaukee. I'm still hearing about a little bit of coho action remaining uh, from Kenosha up to Milwaukee, uh, but that action's bound to be done or going to be done real soon uh, as those fish move out. As the water warms up, they'll move out deeper now. Uh, I haven't heard anything out of the tributaries in Milwaukee, but the smallmouth bass should be moving back in there. I um, haven't heard much out of Green Bay, but I uh, post spawn walleye up there. Uh, this can be a great time for some real trophy fish. Oshkosh, uh, white bass are running 
up uh, up the river up here in Oshkosh. So I uh, heard a, about a couple of folks making the trip up there and uh, doing very well on some real nice white bass. Um, I guess that's pretty much it for the fishing report uh, as far as warm water goes. Uh, I did want to uh, do our f uh, happy fly day. So the fly of the week this week is uh, Adams, Parachute Adams. Uh, this is a uh, kind of a catch-all dry fly if you're out fishing and you see fish rising this is a great fly to have in your box it mimics any number of mayflies and you know can even pull off a caddis you know it, it's just a great buggy looking fly that uh, is you know works almost all the time if you've got fish rising you can throw an atoms out there and, and you'll at least uh, have fish looking at it uh, and then while you get maybe dialed in on what the at what it may be a little better pattern would be, but uh, this uh, Adams is always a great place to start when you're out fishing. Uh, as far as fishing in the area goes, uh, the streams have been running great. Um, conditions uh, have been great for some good bug hatches, clear water, fish looking up. Um, make sure you have dry flies in your arsenal, blue winged olives, caddis. I've been seeing more crane flies lately. I've also been hearing about some hatches of some small cream colored mayflies. I'm not sure what the species of those are and some sulfurs coming off. So those are yellow mayflies and uh, that's, which is uh, maybe a little early. That's I think more of like a June thing, but anyway, uh, sulfurs coming off and fish are looking up. Of course, if um, fish aren't rising, you can always uh, use woolly buggers and nymphs are great this time of year on the spinning gear side of things. Uh, still hard to beat a pan gold, black and gold Panther Martins. Uh, one of my go-tos uh, when, when I did a lot more spin fishing. Uh, of course, tube jigs and Rapalas are also very effective. And uh, speaking of very effective live bait, uh, worms, super great under a bobber, drifts through a riffle and through a corner or something, can be very, very effective for trout and uh, also minnows. Uh, a lot of, sometimes an overlooked choice for uh, live bait for trout. Um, I guess that does it for the report. I want you to post your comments and catches below. And uh, yeah, want to thank you for tuning in and wish everybody good luck out there. Take care.